In this video, we will simply take a look at taking a Leica Viva Total Station or a Leica Nova Multi Station or Total Station out of its box. We will not only take a look at what is stored within the container, but we will also see how we take this equipment out of the box and mount it on a tripod and pole in order to start working. Let's begin by selecting one of the boxes and opening it up. Here we can see that there are a number of different containers that can hold a Leica Viva or Leica Nova TS or MS. In general, the contents of the different boxes is actually quite similar. So in this video, we'll only take a look at one. When we first open the box, the most obvious thing that is contained within it is the instrument itself, which is very easily lifted out of the box and just as easily placed back in. At this point, we can easily notice that this box just like the other Leica containers, actually has two locations where equipment is stored, in the lid and also in the base. In this box, we find that there are locations for our documentation, our batteries, our memory devices, a telescope shield and rain cover, manual adjustment tools, and the TS tape measure to allow us to measure the height of the instrument. In fact, in some of these boxes, there is also a location where we can store the prism itself. But even if the prism is stored in the box, there are still some additional components that we might like to use to get maximum usage from our total station or multi-station. These components can include, but are not limited to, a prism, such as the 360 prism shown here, a radio handle to allow long-range communications to a controller, such as the Leica CS20 shown here, and if we would like to use a smart station setup to have our position coordinated by GNSS, then we would need to use an antenna, such as the Leica Viva GS14, and a handle to allow that to be connected to the top of the instrument. In addition to these components, we will normally also need a tripod and a pole. So, let's set the TS up on a tripod now. With the tripod securely set up in the location that we desire, we can lift the total station or multi-station out of the box and put it on the tripod. Importantly, we must secure it in place by tightening the screw underneath and then we can begin to level the instrument by turning the foot screws on the tri brack referencing the instrument's level bubble and the electronic level from within the software and we can center the instrument if desired using either an optical or a laser plummet to guide us as we do it. Once the instrument is leveled and centered we can use the TS tape measure to measure its height. With these steps completed, we can either run through the setup app from Leica Captivate directly on the TS or connect to a CS and do the setup from there. Either way, the use of a setup app is the same and is covered in separate videos. Depending on how we want to work, it may be required for us to change the handle of our TS or MS instrument. So let's take a look at doing just that. We'll begin with the standard handle attached. As we can see, the handle has some black buttons on, which we can use to unlock the handle from the instrument and simply lift the handle straight off. This allows us to place a different handle on the instrument instead. First, we'll place a GNSS handle on, simply by lining the handle up with the instrument and pushing it down, making sure that it is securely in place. If we now want to switch this GNSS handle for a radio handle, then we use the exact same process. We use the buttons to unlock the handle from the instrument so that we can lift it off and then we replace it with the radio handle. When we do this, we must make sure that the handle is the correct way round so that the contacts line up and then we can push it into place making sure that it is a snug and secure fit. One tip for the radio handle that could be forgotten is to lift its antenna. Simply rotate it through 90 degrees so that it's pointing upwards and the word Leica is clearly visible. With this in place, we can use the very simple CS connection wizard from within the settings of Leica Captivate to make sure that our instrument is ready to be connected to. The device that we are going to want to connect to our instrument will be a Leica CS, and more likely than not, we'll want to have that CS mounted on the same pole as the prism. So let's just take a quick look at how that is done. We'll begin by attaching the pole clamp to the pole. We simply place it on the bottom of the pole and slide it up the pole to our desired position where we twist it to secure it in place. Next, we need to get our CS holder plate and slot this into the clamp. Once this is done, we simply tighten the clamp further so that it now not only grips the pole, but also grips the CS plate. 
Once this is done, we can now mount our Leica CS20 field controller onto the plate. We do this by initially lining up the base of the controller with the base of the clamp, and when that is located, we simply push the Leica CS20 back into the plate to create a flush finish between the two. With the Leica CS20 correctly positioned, we secure it in place by sliding the locking bolt into the locked position. It is of course possible that during this process we mounted the plate in an angle that's not completely comfortable for us to use the device. This is no problem. All we need to do is slightly loosen the clamp to allow us to tilt the plate adjusting the angle of the CS. Once it is as we desire, we just tighten the clamp back up again. If we want to use a smart pole setup where we can collect GNSS data as well, then we simply screw the antenna on top of the pole. Of course, we don't have to use a Leica CS20 field controller. We could instead use a Leica CS35 field tablet. If we are using a Leica CS35 field tablet, then the steps are virtually the same. In fact, we can see here the process of securing the Leica CS35 to its plate. We simply slide it in from right to left, then push it down flat against the plate, and then we lock it in place by twisting the lock on the right hand side. Once everything is correctly mounted on either the pole or the tripod, we can use the TS connection wizard within the settings of the Leica Captivate field software on either our CS20 field controller or our CS35 field tablet to establish the connection to our total station or multi-station. With this done, we can then go about our daily work. However, when we get to the end of the day, we're going to want to remove our CS from our pole. So let's just take a very quick look at how easy that is. All we need to do is slide the locking bolt on the underside of the plate into the unlocked position. Then, whilst pushing down on the Leica CS20, we can pull it away from the plate top first. If we are using the Leica CS35 field tablet, then the process is just as easy. We simply twist the lock into the unlocked position and lift the right hand side of the CS35 out from the holder before we pull it away from the left to the right. Now that we understand what is held within our containers and how we can take this equipment from the box and set it up ready to work, we can bring this video to a close.